And now let's go back a little in time. To find the right length and the proper angles we will use the rafters and hanger. First we will attach the hip rafters with logs already cut. Join it with the hanger. Spacing them at the right angle, such as truss will lie on the wall plates and then do such a thing so follows. That is, we draw first on the top of the color beam the rafter position and later we will draw on the top of the rafter the color beam location. Truss we will create this way, made with hanger, two hip rafters and one color beam will connect two diagonal corners of the wall. Now on the collar beam we will drill similar thing as we did in the top part of the rafters. We will trace a carpentry joint. This part then on will be recessed afterwards into the rafter. This drawing and the situation that we can see here illustrate very well what we are going to do. Namely on the collar beams we will cut the tenons which enters into the socket cut in the hip rafter. We can see this actually on the previous film. The line that you can see here on the top of the collar beam is a line where it will contact with the rafter. And here we are already on the other side of the collar beam doing the same operation as previously. Draw the collar beam position on the hip rafter and now the position on the rafter terms of the collar beam. And here you can already see very well the effect of our drawing. Using the crosses we will mark the elements that will be thrown out and after that we are ready to cut the tenon.
And here is the result of what we have gained. Then move the cut the same on the other side. Any residues are removed with a chisel, then sanded, so there will be no any dirt during the installation of the hip rafters. And here we can see the reversed rafter, there is the color being traced on the side of it. We will extend these dimensions to the underside of the rafter and this way we can trace the exact location where the tenon will go into the rafter. Now we are cut the socket, you have seen it before on the second film about the hip rafters preparation, this is the same operation. Now we actually have what is this all about, so the color beam tenon will join this socket with his cut here. On this place we will use also additional 3D rod for better connection.
interior, level it using a chisel to get a smooth surface. After preparing the socket, we can go to the performance of the other color beam. There will be two of those, of course exactly the same, so now is enough to measure the one you already have done. Copy all dimensions and trace this on the timber will become the second color beam. For a moment you could see a lock on the middle of the color beam, which was not mentioned before. It is a place where two color beams will cross with each other forms one plane. The notch of this lock is that to cut the slot for half of the color beam thickness and vice versa on the other one. And here we draw everything the same as on the first color beam, exactly the same angles and exactly the same length in the right places. Our thrust must of course be symmetric as is the roof and wall plates. We also do the same with the hip rafters, that is after cutting out the first two, the next ones will cutting using the same schedule. All components are the same length and have the same angles. After tracing all the elements, we can go to the cut.
I approach the end of the topic connected to color beams. The next film will show how to cut purlins and how to join everything on the top of the roof.